What's up everyone and welcome back for another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to connect the Airtable database we made in the last tutorial and how we can connect it to Bravo and create a database collection there so we can then connect all that information to our application. Now, what we're going to do is jump into Bravo. Uh, we're going to take a look at how we can connect our Airtable using an API. Now, the really cool thing is with Bravo, uh, they actually have an integrated way of connecting to Airtable. So we only really need a few simple steps. Bravo made it super easy and we can connect it just like that. Now, connecting APIs to Bravo, um, you're not limited just to Airtable. You can use other APIs out there from other companies or other softwares. Um, so like Facebook, Instagram, uh, Webflow, uh, they all have APIs that you can get information from. Uh, but just to make it really simple, we're gonna be using Airtable for this tutorial. So let's jump onto the computer. I'll show you folks how to go ahead and connect everything. So go ahead and go to your Bravo dashboard. You should be signed in right here. Now on the left hand side, instead of projects, we're going to go to data library. Uh, looks like I have one here already. So I'm just going to delete this so I can show you folks again. Let me just go ahead and delete that. All right. So when you come to your data library here, this is where you can add in your different databases that you want to connect to your apps in Bravo. So we're going to have to create a new collection. You can either come down here or in the upper right hand corner, you can select new collection. Now this is where you can connect to one, any API that you want. So if you come to custom API and you have another service that you want to connect to and you have their API and token keys, you can actually go ahead and create your own connection right here. Um, but the cool thing with Airtable is Bravo has a integrated way of adding Airtable really easy with just a few simple steps. So go ahead, click on Airtable. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is enter your base share link. Now if we, you can see a little video here that shows you exactly where to get it. But we're basically going to come back to our Airtable section here uh, in the right corner area you're going to have a share button we're going to select a base and if we scroll down a little this pink area right here we're actually going to copy that url okay you can close out of this we'll go back to the bravo app and we're going to paste that url right there and then hit continue Next, we're going to have to enter the API key and this is going to help us verify and authenticate that this is us connecting to Airtable. So again, you can follow the video, um, but if you come back to Airtable, come to the upper right to your account uh, and hit the account tab here. And then it'll bring you to your account overview. And what you're going to want to do is copy and paste this key right over here. Right. And once you have it copied, go back to Bravo, paste that key inside and then hit complete. You're going to make sure Bravo is going to make sure everything is good. And once everything is completed, you can go ahead and hit continue. So now you can see here that Bravo has set up a database that connects to the My Recipes app from Airtable. You can see the um, you can see the get request for your API to Airtable here. You have your authorization key. Um, and what Bravo does is actually creates two requests that we're going to be using a list and a detail. All right. So now that we have our Airtable database set up and connected and into Bravo and we have a data collection there. On the next tutorial, I'm going to show you folks how to actually start connecting those different pieces of data from our database and start replacing elements in our design.